He got his start on Second City TV. Hi, Whitey. Oh, hi, Beaver. An offshoot of the Chicago comedy troupe famous for launching careers. <laughs> and for Ramis, it did. I'm a zit. He co-wrote Animal House and Caddyshack. He's got a beautiful bash Dad, oh, he got all of that one. He wrote and starred in Stripes. When I was a kid, my father told me, never hit anyone in anger unless you're absolutely sure you can get away with it. And Ghostbusters. I have a radical idea. Ramis directed National Lampoon's Vacation. Because we're the Griswolds. Wrote and directed, analyzed this. You are my shrink. You don't hear the word no very often, do you? I hear it all the time, only small like, no, please, no, no. And co-wrote and directed Groundhog Day, perhaps his finest and most meaningful film. If you only had one day to live, what would you do with it? Ramis's own life was a continuous repeat of humor and characters that solidified his place as one of the most successful comedic filmmakers in generations. In a 2009 interview with the American Film Institute, Ramis explained some of the more difficult decisions he made, such as selling the idea in romantic comedies that another person will complete you. It's something you want to give the audience. You want to, and I even want to tell your kids, you, you want to make paint a, a picture of the world as better than it really is, just so we, we can live with some hope. Ramis brought that hope to audiences for more than 40 years. He died early this morning in Chicago, surrounded by family from complications of a rare disease that affected his blood vessels. While Ramis was known for being a clever and successful filmmaker, one of the most remarkable things about him, those close to him say, may have been how grounded and how kind he was, a real mensch to the end of his days. Ramis was 69 years old.